Along with an increase in demand for delivery and courier services amid the pandemic, the amount of waste also spiked. There was another noticeable surge after Chuseok holiday from packaging and gift sets. To help tackle the problem, some local organizations are finding new ways to recycle. Che Wanjong zooms in on their efforts. One after another, multiple trucks filled with trash continue to arrive at local recycling centers in South Korea. Among other things, they're here to unload styrofoam waste that is used for various kinds of packaging. As people are either sending or receiving gifts more than they would normally during the pandemic, there is more waste that needs to be disposed of. More so during this year's Chuseok holiday. One recycling center in Gyeonggi-do province was receiving up to 63 tons of trash a day before the holiday. But after this figure rose to around 73 tons on average. The amount of waste that we received has jumped 15 percent since the COVID-19 outbreak, and even more so after the Chuseok holiday. The staff are working hard without taking days off to finish the job. This massive amount of trash was thrown out after the Chuseok holiday, but some local businesses are turning into something more useful by recycling themselves. This process is called upcycling. Waste plastics are collected by local businesses. Then they turn into things like plastic keys. They can be used to press elevator buttons and open doors while keeping physical contact to a minimum. This trash was produced because of the COVID-19 outbreak in the first place. So we decided to create something that can help prevent further spread of the virus. At this local coffee shop, ice packs and bubble wrap are like treasure. Instead of throwing them all away, they're collected and given to other small businesses in the area to be reused. This may be a small endeavor, but such efforts from local businesses can go a long way in helping to reduce waste caused by a pandemic. Chae Won-jung, Arirang News.